Hi Clay, here's a simple video that shows you how to see and disable startups in Windows 7. First thing you need to do is click on the start icon and type this bizarre little command M-S-C-O-N-F-I-G Microsoft Config. This should appear right here. If it does, click on it and let me just squish this down so you can see. This is the system configuration dialog in Windows 7. This is, as I said in my email, much more obscure than it is in Windows 10. Click on the Startup tab, and you'll see a list here of all of the things that start up when this particular computer starts. There's a lot of stuff here. Uh, again, it's not as friendly as Windows 10. Um, I'm going to scooch this over, so I click right here between these two. You see the funny cursor appears. When I click down here, I'm going to drag this to the right so I can read all of these. And it gives you no clue really what's going on here. But for example, here is the Realtek High Definition Audio Manager. This runs, his, runs the audio on this computer, the one this I'm showing you this on. I want that to start. Here's the Canon My Printer Utility. I want that to start to run my Canon printer. Here's the Microsoft Security Client. I want that to start because that's my security on this computer. I want the Adobe Updater Startup Utility to run. This one's optional. I don't really need it. I could turn it off. I would turn it off by doing that. I'm not going to turn it off because it doesn't cost me that much and I like to have it around. By the way, this shows doesn't give you any idea about the impact each one of these things has on your system. I have no idea what this is, but I see it's from Adobe. I have a lot of Adobe software on this computer, so I'm going to keep this one around. Um, Logitech Download Assistant. I have two Logitech devices on this computer, a uh, camera and uh, a mouse. Uh, I assume this is keeping their software up to date. I'm going to leave that running. Google Drive Sync. I know I need that because it keeps my Google Drive running. How can I, you know, I know that all of these are important. So I'm going to leave them all enabled. Um, that's for my video card. Don't know what that is. Don't know who they are. Let's disable this one. There, it's disabled. Um, and it just goes on like this. If you're not sure what any of these are, look them up in Google. Canon Solution Menu EX. Again, this is for my Canon printer. This is for my uh, you know, uh, uninterruptible, un un uninterruptible power supply. More Adobe stuff, more Adobe stuff, still more Adobe stuff. Dropbox I know I need. So we go through these one at a time. We check them out. We've deleted, or sorry, disabled this one particular one. So what I'm going to do now is say apply and when I do that it saves the change then I'm going to say OK and close and when I've done that this little message pops up which says that in fact it, nothing's changed but the next time I start my computer I'm going to exit without restarting now but the next time I start my computer that utility that we disabled won't start clearly make a note of what you've changed so that if something screws up in your computer you can go back into MS config and enable it again it will still be there Hope this helps. Uh, I don't blame you if this looks confusing. It is confusing. It's not half as nice as it is in Windows 10, but if there's something in there you want to disable, you can certainly go ahead and do it. Um, that's it. Good luck.